out there, these two guys, these two men over here are calling us racist. <laughs> <laughs> They're calling me a Nazi and a white supremacist. But I'm a little bit confused because if this is the new look of the white supremacy movement and the Nazi movement, then I'm sorry for not doing a good job because I'm straight up coconut <laughs> FOB fresh off the boat from the island of American Samoa. Yeah. Racist. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And I'm proud of it. If you support I will racist. never apologize yeah. Yeah. for being an American. I will this never apologize for being yeah. brown. And you that shouldn't you apologize racist. for whatever color you are too. And we have racists like this that walks around and talks about, oh, you guys are privileged. And yet he's the only one acting like a privileged kid in this circle. White man. Yeah. 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 White man. Yeah. White man trying yeah. to shut down. Check How the hell are you going to call somebody privileged when you act privileged yourself and try to shut other people's speech down? And that's yeah. also a fascist right. belief right there. That's what a fascist does. Only justified intolerance this is what is a fascist looks like. You can't Absolutely. shut down well, hate you allow intolerance to by hitting it with another you hate. Right. You can only that's shut right. down hate yeah. by hitting it with love. That's right. You can only eliminate darkness yeah. by hitting it with the light. Yeah. Woo! So right. don't let it fool you. I respect this freedom of speech, and I'm not going to try to shut him it's down. Like what President we have Trump different just views, said. but we have the you same right. What you see and that's why we're here hear. today. We're here to stand up for our country. We're here to stand up for our rights. We're here to stand up for the Second Amendment. Because yeah. our forefathers did not just sit around yeah. and let yeah. people take their guns. Oh. They did not oh. just sit oh. around oh. and let people jump them. They did not just sit around. When they got sick and tired, they moved. They did something. And that is what you and me need to do. Yeah. Whatever happened to our balls as American? Yeah. We're yeah. American. We're the best country there is. What was the most popular gun? You can call me a racist for being an American nationalist. Yeah. I don't give a damn. How long did it take to I'm here for weapon. America. And, yeah. and you yeah. have to stand up for your rights. Stop waiting. Wake up right now. See that the Second Amendment, the same people that are trying to limit your right to bear arms are the same re same people the Second Amendment was written to protect you from. So stop sleeping and you ought to wake up and you ask the question, why does every single mass shooting happen at a, at a, at a, at a gun free zone? Why? Because gun owners are fucking cowards. It's already legal to commit acts of violence like that. So why do we need our gun laws against guns? Every day we I say let everybody have a gun. How many of you need a gun? Let everybody have a gun. The only way to kill a bad dude with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And what our government is trying to do, they're trying to make criminals out of law body citizens like you and me. They're trying to make bad people out of good people. And we're not taking it anymore. When is enough is enough. When is no more is no more. Enough, Time enough. to rise up. Yeah. Rise up. Time to rise up yeah. and do what is right for your country. Rise up. For your country. The only reason he mentioned it all the time. The only reason why other country doesn't want to invade America, because we have the biggest military and not the men and, uh, and women in uniform. Yeah. It's we the people. That's right. We have the largest we military. military. Larger than the we next will rise up and defend combined. this country. And yet we can we'd rather die on our feet we than living on our knees. Education. And you ought we to open your eyes for our veterans. and step up and do what is right. You can afford those things. We're gonna take the fights of them like our forefathers right. did. They fired the first shot. And I'm not saying let's go physically remove them from office. No. Rise up. Let your voice be heard at the voting ballot. Tell them no more. Will you will what we let you? Tread on our rights. No more. We will let you infringe on our Second Amendment. No one's infringing you on your, your Second change. Amendment, man. We'll keep our guns, That's our bacon, right. and our beer. God no bless America. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe you shouldn't do that, huh? I had a question you, you I wanted to, to ask. Cool. You so, in so you got, we got can you remind me, your, is that uh, these are people starting over here? Got cool. We got some violence for your peaceful no. people starting over here. Why are you people starting violence, Joey? Joey, did you see the one here starting violence? Some people call Jesus, some people don't, some are atheists, some... Hey, he's pushing me in. I'm not touching you, dude. He's just standing right there. 
Let him be in his thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Jesus, that's true. Jesus said, love your enemies. But Jesus also said, if you have two cloths, sell the other one, get yourself a sword. Believe me, if there was AR-15 back then, Jesus would have said, sell it and get yourself an AR-15. God bless America. Amen. That's not looking at scripture the right way. And most of the people I talk to about gun rights don't want to take anyone's guns. No, it's just one restriction after another. It's slowly, right? It's a slow process. Some restrictions so that, like, a lot of these guns are made for desert warfare and fighting overseas. AR-15. No, they don't use those. No. You think anyone should be able to carry whichever gun they want? I don't know what the, the line's been drawn a long time ago. I'm saying we don't need any more laws. We already have plenty of laws. Like, like the, the change don't fall on the law. Excuse me. How are you doing today? All right. Regulated versus state. Well regulated. Well regulated. You're the one pushing me. I mean, if you want to play that game, you can play it right. All right? I'm pushing it. Right. 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 See, there you go. Get off of me. Get off of me. I'm just trying just to let him walk. You're, you're, you're the one blocking me out of my path. Don't walk into me. Go start your own rally on the street. Yeah. Go somewhere where somebody cares about it. Nobody here would come and disrupt you. That's the difference. Yeah, that's the difference. Let's just try it for like a little bit. Healing back some of the abilities. I wonder if you're saying that. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, I stood by. They are saying people are in the street. I know. Chicago has the strictest gun laws in the world. So what's happening now? Hold on, first of all, I'm sure they do. The second of all, doesn't matter. Life is a lot of In the United States, it's there's 300 true. murders per year from a semi automatic rifle. Do you understand how small that number is? It sucks. It's just like 145 in the bunny. No, no, hold on. It's 10,000 murders. 10,000 murders per year, right, from all guns. Most of them are handguns. Most of them. There's, there's another 20,000 that come from suicide. Okay, that's a whole different conversation. What I'm saying is, even if you, even all the murders per year in, in the United States of America, right, 10,000 is pretty small. We have way bigger issues when it comes to um, opioid addiction and the amount of people that are going to die today in the state of Washington. Over 100. You're going to have one person. I don't think anyone would argue. Just right. Especially but, in but what I'm saying is. Why restrict a rifle in the state of Washington that's, that's maybe going to murder one person in the state of Washington? Why? And could protect way more it than protects that. It protects a lot of people, and it protects the West Coast. This is why no this is why no government will ever set foot on our country, even if our military falls. Never. Because there's over 100, there's hundreds of millions of, of citizens that want to protect this country. China, which has the largest military in the world, the they States could not stand a chance of attacking our soldiers. They only have three million. Except this provided in Section 313 of Title 32, under 45 years of age, who are at major declaration of detention. Illegally, because most of them are under 18. And if you know the United States remembers the National Guard, the classes of the militia are the organized militia. Nope. Yeah, they're students that go in there and shoot people. Illegally. Unorganized militia. And that's the other thing I'm talking about. Changing the age from 18 to 21 is not going to do anything. Except put more people Seven. in jail, more hunters in jail. The unorganized so militia, which can Why do you need an AR 15 to hunt? My concern what are you hunting? You're a pretty uh, shitty hunter if you're using a semi automatic rifle, rifle to hunt. It's actually really hard to kill an animal with an AR 15. So if you knew anything about guns. Right, yeah. so, so why are you trying to justify that as a hunting weapon? So what I'm saying though is that why is it that we're trying to justify the AR 15 as a hunting weapon? It doesn't have to be justified as anything. Why is it that we're trying to justify the AR 15 as a hunting weapon? It's the the three of them. Rifles. Big. And these are uh, so, so why are you so opposed to taking a class? Why are you so opposed to taking a class to to get the right? Just like a handgun. Treat it just like a handgun. It just proves you don't know nothing about guns. It's a semi-automatic rifle that's black. Why do you care about it? You want all semi-automatic rifles. It's the same as a handgun. You know what it is, though? You know what guns are? Why? What? This is part of our term. Semi-automatic. Why? 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 Why?
the Mini 14 than I am the so AR-15. So why should the lobby be <laughs> why? And it looks like a standard rifle. Right? Because we have the right to defend ourselves against all enemies, foreign and domestic. You're going to take your pea shooter 22 out there and defend yourself against AR-15 against a nuclear warhead? No, I'm not. You go read the Federalist Papers. They wanted us to carry a foreign and domestic. That means if a million Chinese soldiers are walking down here, we have the right to pick up our AR-15 and defend your ass. No, excuse me. It's the same as it was 100 years ago. Okay? We have the right to defend ourselves against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That's why there's a Second Amendment right. Oh, that's right. You won't even read it. You won't even read it. Come on. Can't you read? Show me you're, where you're not it's understanding right the no, argument. That's right here, man. You don't have an argument, is the point. No, no, right now. You're, you're, trying, to, you're right trying, right to right trying to say right something right. that I'm not saying. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying the Constitution defines what? it as a hunting right. You think I could So what are you saying? I'm, I'm saying, exactly why are they trying to say it? He's got a knife. It's a semi-automatic rifle. So, okay. right. so it's the, the same as a semi-automatic rifle. It's it's no a hunting rifle. It's a semi-automatic rifle. It's a semi-automatic rifle. What are you hunting with? Why is it in your concern what I'm hunting? It's a semi-automatic rifle. We're hunting people who break into our house. We're hunting people. Why do you got a knife? So you're going to use a long barrel rifle? It's the same gun that you use to kill people. You don't have no fingernails. What do you think you're going to do? Lots of people have reaper rifles. You don't have no fingernails. Yeah. All right. Who's the bad guy that wants to kill you? So you're really I killed him. Exactly. I Take a picture of that. I was. So did you get trained on the weapons you used? I did. I did. I just so trained. What's that weapon oh, yeah. in your back pocket? Why you got a weapon? Why do you have a weapon? He's got a knife. You got a knife in your back pocket. Why would I have a weapon? He's got a knife. They allowed you to use the weapons before you trained? Yeah, he's got a knife. He's got a knife in his back pocket. Really? When I first got there. Yeah. When I first got there. Yeah. So the day that I showed up, I got my gap piece. And the next day we went out. has an intolerant sign and a knife. But hang on. So you want everyone that you might change your gun, even all the bad guys who get guns from you, you want them to be fully operational and trained in the guns? Because I would rather have a dumb fuck that picks up a gun and doesn't have nothing about it. Trust me. Well, but I think I'm going to try. How are you going to do that? To finish up here real quick. Tell me how. There's already a gauge on what somebody's been looking for. One of the things that I really want that's not left is not right, okay? Because there's an attempt to divide us right now. If you voted for Hillary, I can't talk to you. If you voted for Trump, I can't talk to you, okay? That's why I believe that we got to focus on freedom. Freedom isn't left, it isn't right, it's just well, freedom, and it's something a lot of liberals believe in the First Amendment, they believe bullshit. in the Second Amendment, they're just remaining no. silent. No, I didn't. Yeah. I got my gun, freedom and then first, I went and got trained on it. How am I going to get trained before I get my gun? And they put up a bill, or they put up policy, it's either going to decrease your freedom. Hey, the guy over here is a knife. Right now, we're at a point right now. The one right there? Which one? This one? Oh, he has a knife? Yeah. Seriously. I noticed you were with your kids, I thought I'd give you a warning. Each and every single one of you on average will commit three felonies today. That's how many laws there are. I'm here to say so the enough is enough. Why is it we do not need more laws, especially when it comes to our most precious right, the Second Amendment. I'm here to tell you, listen, they keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and continue to take your rights one bill at a time. Every single year in the state of Washington, we don't have more freedom, we have less freedom. I'm here to say enough is enough. We do not have to pass any more laws to take away our rights. Enough is enough. We do not need more regulations. We do not need more taxes. In fact, we got to push back. Do you want to ask a question? Do you want to ask a question? I agree. I agree. I just said that. I just said that. It's not about left or right. You're talking. You're talking. 
I believe in God. I open up with the prayer. I pray all the dark cities all around the country. Now I'm not the enemy. No, I know you're not. 